Okay, so a lot of you guys have um, messaged me and said, hey, I really want a detailed overview of what the is going on with your new budget build here. Uh, the budget beast, I should say. Okay, so really quickly, I've got the RS2306 Emax motors. These are the new ones. These are 2750 kV, and they're very powerful. I probably have them over prop right now with these props. I'm probably going to try the two-bladed RK plop props in just a moment here. Running the Runcam Swift Mini here, Runcam 3 here. Drone Keeper Mini, which is right here. Um, as far as the ESCs, these are 30 amp ESCs, which are in the Fly Color S stack. So I basically have an F3 board up here, which these two boards are integrated. Then I also have the Rush FPV video transmitter right in here. So this is basically my setup with um, also, of course, the great 3D print printed um, session mount here, which fits the Runcam 3 just fine because it is more flexible. And I also have this XT60 holder in the back, which is really nice because it holds it out of the blades. These are the Cyclone V1 blades, which are doing okay, but I'm not super impressed by them, although I'm, they're, they're doing okay for today. Also, in the, during this flight, um, luckily we got some sun now, so I actually turned the wide dynamic range off of this camera, which is going to be the first time that I'm actually flying it with wide dynamic range off. Okay, guys, so we're going to go for a flight with this Fly Color S stack. This is a 30 amp ESC and board, uh, flight board integrated, and it also has an integrated OSD in it, which is really fantastic. I mean, it already comes pre-set uh, up for 4S, so you have your 4S voltage coming out of this board. Uh, flight time, so when you give it, uh, when you arm, it starts your flight time, which is really, really nice. And also, all the uh, information is really far, pushed far to the side, so if you need to see that information, it is uh, off to the sides, um, and it's not really blocking your view, so I really like the way they have this set up. So let's go for a quick flight and I can explain some of the uh, details of the OSD as we are flying. Okay, here is the, the, uh, the sound. So I'm going to go ahead and arm here. I'm starting my flight time on the upper right. at 16.6 volts in the upper left and 1.1 amps pulling right now. And I'm in acro mode. Here we go. So you'll see my my amp draw. It's up in the upper middle. I'm at 15.6 right now. To 72, and it'll give me a um, a uh, statistic log after I land here. It'll tell me how many volts, uh, how many maximum amps that I have flown. So see the American flag, America. So um, like I was saying, all the information is pushed towards the outsides, uh, which is really nice. Um, it's not interfering with your view or distracting you from where you're flying. If you have to take your eyes off the FPV feed for a moment, it's not bad. So uh, fly time is in the upper right hand corner and it's not super bright. So I'm wondering if I can change the contrast in the lettering in the menu, which is, I believe this is a Adreno based um, uh, OSD, so I believe you can change that in the settings. All right, so once again, I am fly flying the Martian 2. This is kind of just my test rig for all my components now. So it is handling really nice. I haven't done any uh, tuning since I first flew it. So, power loop action. Let's see if I can do a See if we can do a reverse power loop here. Hang on. And that was not clean at all. <laughs> all right, let's come down the runway here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. And I believe on the upper middle right is the milliamps consumed, the 852 it's counting up right now. Alright, so let's uh, let's finish up this 
video real quick. I'm just gonna come in for a landing here. Some of you guys were like, put some pads on the on the bottom of the copter, so I did. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the um, statistics here. Fly time is three minutes and two seconds. No distance or anything like that because there's no GPS on this. And max amps, uh, max milliamps used is 1,090. So I could have still flown a little bit longer. This is a 1,300 milliamp pack. Oh, actually, that's probably right about right. And maximum amps is 84. So, all right, let's uh, wrap up this video. Thanks guys. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me on that flight and um, checking out the Flycolor S stack there. I, I really like it. It's, it's pretty good. It's so simple to set up. The um, ESC board is, is mated to the flight control board, so there's no wires going in between the two, which is pretty awesome. Now, you do have to run wires from your VTX into the, into the board and also um, a few other things, but, but it's a, a really, really clean setup, so I'm really appreciating this thing. Uh, it's flying really nice, and um, we'll talk to you guys later.